this video. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! So, AI-generated subtitles has come to DaVinci Resolve, and in this video, I'm gonna walk through uh, the bare bones layer of how to get those up and running. And I'm also gonna walk through the current workflow um, to use my new animated subtitles preset with this new auto generation to really open up um, your different style options, especially if you want more like big, bold, sort of storytelling subtitles versus your kind of more utilitarian uh, closed caption or traditional subtitles. These auto subtitles are a studio only feature and the subtitles plugin I'm gonna be showing off is a paid plugin as well. But if you have any other uh, plugins or titles you really like as well, uh, the workflow should be pretty similar. All right, so we've got this little scene um, that I showed off in the intro. This video. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! Awesome. And if you're in the public beta for 18.5, all you have to do is come up to timeline, create subtitles from audio. Right now, English is the only language. Um, you have a few caption presets where we can use uh, default and you can set the max characters per line. Uh, I'm gonna leave that here for now. Click create and it will process that and boom, it's done almost instantaneously on my system. This is a very short clip. Now, importantly, you will note, um, it has added this into a custom subtitle track. And as is, this opens up some cool possibility. If I hop over to the deliver page, you'll see that I have uh, some subtitle settings. And if you have a subtitle track, you can check that on and you can either uh, export that as a separate file, which is most commonly an SRT, I believe. Different websites and different services can use that in different ways. You can burn that into the video, which will just, um, you know, have that on the video as a text or embedded captions. Again, uh, different platforms, different programs will interact with these in different ways. But what we want to do is back on the edit page, if I go through this video, I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! Cool. You can see it right in the middle there, the timeline uh, might hit a little later than I would like. Declaration of Independence. The Declar so I would just adjust this back in time. So I'm going to steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! Cool. Now, if you haven't seen my new animated subtitles uh, preset uh, that is in effects, Titles, Subtitle Pro under Sterling Supply Company. I'm gonna drop that in and that will drop just on a normal video layer in your timeline, just like any other title or generator. And if I slide this down to preview, um, the big feature of this plugin, along with having access to all your basic uh, text controls, importantly, the shading element tab that you can really customize however you want, add multiple layers, really, really cool stuff. We have this animation tab. By default, it just scales up, but you can toggle on uh, scaling, fading, or rotating, how much you wanna rotate that. You can have it slide in from any direction or any amount. And once it has animated in, you can toggle on a little shake just add a little slight wiggle. And say if I also add a rotate there, if you have an animation you would like to use for several titles in a row, um, then as you go through, you can just cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. And now each of those will replay that same animation. If I go back and actually toggle off the out animation, cut, 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 cut. And as I play those back, one, two, three, hey, hey, hey. And then after the fact, you could click on any of those, change up the text. Hello. Now it's, hey, hello, hey, hi. That. In a lot of situations, you will want to fine tune probably the animation and the style between all of these to like keep it fresh. But if you have a consistent style and a consistent animation you want on most of your keyframes, this can save you a lot of time. So you have this plugin doing a lot of the animation work for you. You have these uh, AI generated <laughs> subtitles doing a lot of the actual transcription for you. Now we just need to sort of put them together. So what I'm gonna do is just get back to that um, initial uh, subtitle preset. I'm gonna drag that to where my first subtitle starts. I'm gonna stretch that out to where it ends. And then I'm just going to uh, follow along with this subtitle track. I'll even turn on snapping so I can snap to each of those points and cut that subtitle pro up until we get to the last one. Now we'll have to do uh, a few things right off the bat. So we have uh, this video, which I will want to come in by itself, but I'm gonna want the, uh, I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence uh, to sort of double up. So I'm gonna drag that top section all the way towards the end. I will leave a gap there as well. And then we have the let's go. Now on a short clip like this, while the auto transcription was very quickly, um, it might still be faster just to type out some of this. But you know, as your video gets longer, as you're dealing with more text, um, it'll obviously save time to have that work done for you. And then you can click on any of those, copy that text right into your titles and just go line by line. I'm gonna steal the, click on the next one, Declaration of Independence. Let's go copied all those over. And now I'm just gonna straight up uh, delete that subtitle track, which gets rid of that. I'm gonna toggle on these transform controls and that will allow me when I select any of these titles to just drag that right in the video frame. Uh, I'm gonna come to where we have both of those overlaying each other. So I can do one, then the other, shift it over, shift it over. Uh, these are both very large at this point, but 
Um, you have all of these transform controls. That'll let me uh, drag any of these around, uh, scale those down a little bit. Last one, bring down. Uh, you do have the layout controls in all of these as well. Uh, some of those, uh, like the center and size, uh, will be dictated by that animation. So having uh, these sort of clip level uh, options to move those around, really helpful as well. Now, once I have those uh, loosely up, check it with audio. This video, I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. I might even uh, have a start a hair later on that. This video. Or a hair earlier here. This video. I'm gonna steal the de This video. I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence. Let's go! And after the fact, you can hop uh, right back into the shading options for these. Change those up. If you have a style you like, you can add gradients. You can do lots of other really fun work here. I'm even gonna hop back into that animation. Uh, you know, I have them all the same. Uh, so I'll do rotate on the first. On the second, I will disable that rotate because especially those two lines on top of each other uh, get a little much, but I will turn on slide. That'll be fun. Pull from different angles there. So now we have... I'm going to steal the declaration. Cool. Make sure we're coming in from a different direction here. The declaration of independence. Let's go! And so we have this little scene. Uh, toggle off this viewer. This video. I'm going to steal the declaration of independence. Let's go! Fun. <laughs> there is still more I want to talk about specifically with this plugin. I want to talk about um, advanced customization, especially on some of the animation. If you want that really like pop in and settle back look, we're going to talk about that. And then we're also going to talk about some uh, basics of saving your effects, mostly in the power button. That will come in its own separate video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.